today we will learn about some important things related to evolution we will also discuss inherited and acquired traits nearly 3.5 billion years ago there was no life on earth but today we see millions of species of plants and animals on earth there are organisms from the simplest form such as bacteria to those with complex body organizations such as humans many of these organisms are present in extremely hot places like volcanoes and many in extreme cold places like earth's pole how do you think so much biodiversity would have arisen on earth think about it we get the answer from the study of evolution to find out how the organisms have evolved we need to know how different species originated in time to understand this we consider the external shape and behavior of organisms as the basis the description of the external shape and behavior of an organism is called its characteristics for example different organisms have four legs it is a characteristic plants can do photosynthesis it is also a characteristic we can classify organisms on the basis of similar characteristics for example the body of all organisms is made up of cells so we can put all organisms on the first level at the next level we will see characteristics that are common among most organisms but not among all for example most organisms have nucleus in their cells but bacteria do not have distinct nucleus then we will classify those organisms which have nucleus into unicellular organisms and multicellular organism at the next level we can classify multicellular organisms based on ability to do photosynthesis then we can take the body structure into consideration at the next level thus here you can see development of a hierarchy where similar organisms are placed in a group this hierarchy will take us to a situation where we will know that life has originated from abiotic substances if we look at the hierarchy we will know that the mistakes in dna copying and as a result of sexual reproduction there are microscopic changes from generation to generation as a result variations have occurred which have led to different species we also see that the species which are adapted to changes in the environment survived whereas those species which were not adapted were vanished the accumulation of changes in the organisms over generations is called evolution by evolution we mean creation of biodiversity and selection by nature remember evolution does not means progress for example bacteria are ancient creatures as compared to humans bacterial body structure is much simpler than human body structure but bacteria can survive in extreme heat however humans can't so would it be fair to say that humans are more advanced or evolved than bacteria discuss this with your friends now let's discuss another aspect of development some characteristics such as height nose shape color blindness dimples can be transmitted from one generation to the next such characteristics are called inherited traits inherited traits are stored in the dna of gametes therefore these are transmitted 
from one generation to the next which takes the organisms to evolution those traits like dance art weight maintenance of hair which the organism acquires during their lifetime are called acquired traits acquired traits lead to changes in non reproductive tissues but it does not cause change in dna of the gametes hence during generation there is no inheritance of acquired traits from one generation to next that is the acquired traits are not inherited from one generation to the next since the acquired traits are not inherited we cannot call development of tissues from the acquired traits as evolution in this way these traits do not lead the organism to the evolution now an interesting question for you if rahul's mother has attached earlobe and rahul's father also have attached earlobe and both are good swimmers then what can be said certainly about rahul rahul's earlobes will be joined and rahul will also be a good swimmer rahul's earlobes will be joined but it is not certain that rahul will be a good swimmer or not what is your answer absolutely right the attached earlobe is a inherited character whereas swimming is an acquired character hence the second option is the correct answer so today we have learned about some important things related to evolution we have also discussed inherited and acquired traits